All right, Coach, uh, big win tonight. Give us your assessment of the uh, game. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously I'll start the, you know, with the defense. Uh, that seven is not on them. That's on special teams. So, you know, pitch a shutout, only give up 148 yards. So I thought uh, I did a great job, really not only with the game plan, but just kind of flying around playing, forced a couple of turnovers. So, um, you know, a defensive shutout. Uh, you know, offense, I thought we did a great job mixing up our play calls. There was a lot of um, different spots that we were kind of attacking and a lot of different guys, you know, touched the ball. Um, and, uh, you know, probably the highlight for me offensively was the two-minute drill kind of at the end of the first half. I thought that, you know, we were really in control. Kay did a great job running that drill and uh, threw a little tailback dump down screen to kind of get us out of there and kind of mixing things up. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good win. Uh, you know, it probably one snap with a kickoff return for a touchdown you go back and take a look at. And, uh, you know, but other than that, uh, I thought we played – played well, especially in the third quarter. I thought we played really well and uh, got a lot of opportunities for guys to play. And so that's really key for our football program and, you know, the short term in case we have some injuries or depth. But I think in the long term for development of those players for their future, too, I think it was key to get them out there. Okay, what's the, can you talk about the connection that you have with your receivers spreading the wealth, including uh, having two touchdowns to Jade? Yeah, you know, they've they put in a lot of work. And, you know, I think that the connection is that, you see on, on Saturdays shows the work that we put in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So um, can't get that enough credit. And obviously the old line, like those those passes don't happen without them. So um, it's great to have them. We have more work to do still. So uh, it's going in the right direction, but got some work to do. Can you talk about the, the game that you had uh, or passing to Jade? What's that? The oh, oh, the game, with, yeah. yeah. No, Jade and I, I feel like we're building a lot of chemistry. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's special. He's a talented player and he's got a unique skill set. And when you have somebody like that, it makes my job easy. So, um, you know, he's doing really well and, and a lot of those other guys too. So, yeah. Jade, you had, you had, uh, two really good first games of the year, but this is the first time you scored touchdowns. Um, what does that mean to you? Um, pretty much like, I don't really like want to focus on like having too many touchdowns or like, I just want to focus on like being the best person I can be. And if the touchdowns come, they come. If they don't, they don't. I really don't care about touchdowns. Really. Uh, Cade, um, what role does field position play in uh, how your offense works, what you're able to do? Um, there were a lot of times you were starting deep in uh, deep in opponent territory. What does that do for your offense? Yeah, I think it's just another confidence booster. Um, when, you, when you're when you smelling the end zone, it's it, it just gives you that extra little, you know, we got to get this in here. So. Um, you know, special teams and, and our defense did a great job setting us up in a great field position tonight. So, you know, that's all on them. That's not as much on the offense. And, and it's our job once we're putting that positions, we need to make sure that we're scoring touchdowns. So, you know, the only one I can think of is there when we had the field goal attempt, which we had that one back. Uh, but other than that, you know, kudos to our defense and special teams for putting us there. Uh, Coach, um, I was really intrigued by uh, the way you use Avery Moore. Um, what is his size and speed? What does that add to uh, your offense? Yeah, no, I think that he's uh, he has a skill set. You know, we talked earlier about Jade's skill set. Avery Moore has a really, really unique skill set that we saw in fall camp, especially some of the spring ball, some some of fall camp. He's got a great feel in the run game, and we combine that with he's a he's a good athlete that's big. You know, he's a bigger body, good athlete um, that we don't you know we think is durable and can take some hits and do some things. Really provides an opportunity to kind of create a little bit of advantage for our offense. You know, when the quarterback is running the ball, kind of get that plus one half because of running him. So. Uh, he's definitely getting more confident. He doesn't have that role. Um, definitely don't want anybody to think he can't throw it. I think the two guys next to me understand he definitely can throw the football. Uh, we're just using him in some spot situations because he's earned the right to do that uh, throughout the course of practice. And it's really kind of helping our offense, you know. And it's not a disrespectful thing to Cade's skill set at all. It's just kind of a change up and allows us to kind of bring a little bit of different surface to the defenses. Jade, what does that mean to score the first touchdown of the game for you and for the team? Um, I was just trying to get off to a fast start. So when I saw it, it was back shoulder, I just knew, I was like, yeah, I got this one in the bag. And I caught it, celebrated my teammates, and that was it. Coach, um, after that touchdown, they tied it up with that kickoff return. Yep. What was going through your mind and with the rest of the guys on the sideline when they tied it up? Yeah, I, mean, I think what happened on the opening kickoff, um, you know, we really ran down and I think did a good job with the coverage. In fact, we thought we maybe had a safety. Um, the officials were right. He had uh, he didn't fully have possession at the two, and, and, and so he had kind of muffed it and finally got possession of the end zone. We tackled the end zone. 
I think we got a little bit uh, over aggressive, a little just, you know, not trying to break down and do what we're supposed to do. And then he ripped one off. And it was disappointing because that team's been good for us through two games. You know, it's been a, a strength of the football team. We haven't really given up one of those. But, you know, my mindset was, you know, that's not good. Um, I try to coach those guys up, correct a couple things I saw on the fly. And then, you know, hey, offense, let's go. And kick off return, let's try to rip it. And offense, let's go. Let's try to get this thing back to 14 to 7 and just kind of take it after there. So, uh, you know, I would say, you know, number five, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he was an explosive player. You definitely tell that. And so it kind of changed some things as we did. The next one I kicked to him because I just didn't want, want my kickoff team to lose confidence. We did a good job covering it. After that, we kind of mixed the kicks up a little round because it was clear where our defense was playing. That was going to be one of the ways they would get instant offenses with, with him on the kickoff return. So I tried to limit the damage that could happen.